Well, it's that time again, boys and girls. It's time to talk about why both parties aren't the same and the continued assault on freedom by one party. Hi, I'm Chunks of Earth. Now, I just got off of a Facebook battle with a very good friend of mine who I've known from high school and she owns her own business and somehow she's fallen victim to the Fox propaganda. Uh, there was a Facebook picture with President Obama talking to a little girl in front of a stack of Legos and it said that looks like you know it's this beautiful thing you made and, you know it's must have taken a long time blah 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 and then below it it said but we're gonna take half and give it away to the people that were napping you know, while you were building that and that's what we call sharing the wealth and that's only fair well funny how they use the word half when nobody talks about 50 percent taxes on anybody but you know facts are just in the way there's artistic license when it goes about uh, stretching the truth in order to make a point that doesn't exist so I brought up my favorite argument which Elizabeth Warren supported and o Obama has uh, also stated about how uh, did she manufacture those Legos did she invent those and then build this structure and that's that's why it's so impressive or were the Legos made beforehand by somebody else that she used to explore her own talents and of course I got well that's not the point the point is is that it's not fair to take anybody's money for any reason to give to anybody else that's not fair okay well might I remind you and this this was my response was that it's not about taking money and giving to people who don't deserve it it's about people that have used the system to manipulate their ability to pay their fair share crying about how they're being punished for being successful when they're actually being asked to do the right thing because everybody else that isn't able to skirt the system is playing fair and I don't understand how people can can really defend the filthy greedy rich people uh, it's a it's a pretty good ruse and I, I'm, I'm pretty proud to live in a country where you've made people ashamed to be angry about being taken advantage of that's that's beautiful absolutely beautiful so I went on to say that uh, to support the greedy selfish monsters that have caused the collapse of our economy and the and the joblessness and homelessness that's resulted because of that and to blame the victims of other people's actions the rich greedy actions you, they've managed to make you blame the victims of this is beautiful to show me show me where I'm wrong with that I'm still waiting for an answer uh, that's my first part what why the Dems and the GOP are not the same now I'm going to include an addendum to the video that I made about representative Valerie Hodges the political neophyte in Louisiana that was elected by apparently a group of ignorant people who now regrets her decision to allow public funding of religious schools because she didn't realize that that funding might also go to Islamic schools because there is no other religion besides Christianity right no of course not and that's this is Louisiana the bastion of, of intelligence knowledge and fair treatment um, so now following in in its footsteps is Florida with good old Tea Party Rick Scott now first I want to state my friend who is a very smart person and I and I love her to death but I don't understand her philosophy I, I think she's missing some of the facts before she makes a decision I'm, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt now she also stated she didn't have a problem with taxpayer money funding all religious schools and I had to remind her that the churches don't pay taxes therefore the taxpayers money should not go to church or religious schools of any kind we're dealing with a, an economy and a deficit 
where people are, are trying their best to survive and paying taxes whenever they can. So many people can't even afford to pay taxes. And she's not willing to tax the rich anymore. But she's willing to take her tax money and give it to an organization that does not pay taxes. How is that logical? You don't mind giving your hard-earned tax money, not to the government, because they don't know what to do with it, but I'll give it to the church, who doesn't know what to do with it and doesn't do the right thing. Explain to her that the reason the churches aren't supposed to get tax money is because they don't pay taxes. That was the deal. You keep your nose at a government and we don't require you to pay taxes. But recently the churches have gone very political. We've even seen the presidential candidates in the past go meet with these psycho mega churches. We need their endorsement, which is uh, completely offensive to me, but it must be done. That's just the way things are. So if the churches want to have that political power, then they need to contribute to the system that they want to rail about. It's that simple. I haven't heard back with her back from her on that either. So back to Florida. Florida amendment using taxpayer money to fund religious schools causes outrage. And I'm going to include this link in the bottom. Uh, one of the most politically important states in the country in the swing state of Florida. Now, I've always said that the ability of Rick Scott to buy Florida for $78 million of his own money, which was actually your money because he defrauded the government out of one point seven or, or billions of dollars, was fined $1.7 billion. But his money is actually your money he's using to buy your state from you. So who knew that this was going to be in the process? The GOP knows that they failed at every single level. So they have to buy large states with large electoral votes in order to go against the will of the people and actually regain power. They've done nothing that they said they were going to do since 2010 when the Tea Party came in. They have not created jobs, they've not fixed the economy, and all they've done is pass abortion bills. It really is, is all they've done. And put tax money into the churches. Complete violation of the Constitution. But that's what your Tea Party said they were, wait a minute, they didn't say they were going to do that, did they? But let's blame Obama. Let's, let's start Projection, you know, deflect, look what Obama's doing. Sure, okay. In 2011, the Religious Freedom Act, remember, if the GOP names it, it's the opposite of what it is, or Amendment 7 was proposed to be put on the Florida State ballot in 2012. The amendment would let parents receive taxpayer-funded vouchers to send their children to private religious schools. In December of 2011, after backlash from the ACLU and other groups, a judge ruled against the bill calling it ambiguous and misleading. Those are those activist judges you're talking about with that fairness and, and, and you know constitutionality. After the judge's ruling, Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, another Tea Party fantastic person, rewrote the bill calling it Amendment 8, religious freedom. I quote, Proposing an amendment to the state constitution providing that no individual or entity may be denied on the basis of religious identity or belief, governmental benefits, funding, or other support, except as required by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, and deleting the prohibition against using revenues from the public treasury directly or indirectly in aid of any church, sect, or religious denomination, or in aid of any sectarian institution. So it's, according to them, they want to make it against the Constitution for the government to fund religion. Not that it makes enough money on its own through donations and not paying taxes, and a lot of these people are, are very well-to-do that are in charge of churches. That's not good enough. They want more of your money. More, more, more. All the while saying that we're spending too much money on government. There's too, we're paying too much in taxes. The Tea Party, taxes are too high. So what do we do? We take your tax money and we give it back to the church. And where's it going to go from there? Explain to me, where's it going to go from there? Hmm. Back to the people? Back to those who don't deserve it because they're not working? The jobless, the homeless, all those people that were crushed by the Wall Street fiasco? That's where the churches are going to help people? By taxpayers funding churches to help the people that the government was used to be helping but we didn't want government in our lives so we created abortion bills to prevent to prevent humans from not being born so they could be added to this problem of no jobs schools too crowded prisons overcrowded but new, more humans is the answer that's the answer this country needs more humans in order to fix the economy take away the jobless rate 
and, and improve education. We need more humans for our crowded schools and our crowded prisons, right? Of course. Of course. Who didn't know all that? I don't get it. I just don't get it. And nobody's been able to explain it to me. So, another, uh, Orange County School Board Chair Bill Sublet, Bill Sublet expressed his concerns. Its true purpose is to allow public tax dollars to be spent on religious schools. My concerns are, first and foremost, as a citizen, I don't want my tax dollars going to support a religious institution. Secondly, I think it will decrease the funding available for Florida public schools. This is a very serious concern. Since Rick Scott came in, he cut $1.3 billion from the education budget, but he wants to give your tax money to the religious schools. And he fired 10,000 teachers, 10,000 public workers, but his slogan was, let's get to work. He's here to create jobs. He's done none of that. He's done none of that. That's of no concern to the, the right. Now, those facts and stuff, that's in the way. No, 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 that's your interpretation. He put more people on the government dole, but he claims that he was here to create jobs. And I'll, I'll let you finish this article, but it's, it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating, the level of cognitive dissonance between people. Yes, I'd like to pay less in taxes. I would. And if you take my tax money and give it to religious institutions that don't pay taxes and are tax exempt but still think they have a voice in the political process, give that tax money back to me. I'll spend it on goods and services. I'll spend it investing in things, which the church does not. Your thoughts are encouraged and welcomed. Fix me. I don't get it. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you.